New cars, new houses, new boats, and yes, financial security. All could be yours for a dollar if you pick the right numbers and hit a lot of jackpots. But the odds are against you, and for drawings like the Mega Million, your chances of winning the jackpot are about 1 in 176 million. First, you have to pick five numbers out of 56 correctly. The odds of picking the first one are five out of 56. If you get that one right, then you have a four out of 55 chance of picking the second. The third ball, you have a three out of 54 chance, and so on. Your chances of picking five balls out of 56 are one in just over 3,800,000. Then you must also pick a Mega Ball from a different set of 46 balls. Your overall chance in matching all six balls is a daunting near 176 million to 1. 176 million to 1 is an incredibly small number and tough to comprehend. So here are some other examples of very long odds. You have a better chance of flipping a coin and having, say, 27 heads or 27 tails in a row than winning the Mega Millions. You can try that at home and you may get 27 in a row if you flip it about 130 million times. Or let's take 176 million paper clips, stretch them into N. They would span about the distance from Miami, Florida to Seattle, Washington. If you were able to pick the right clip in the chain, you win. We all know what a dollar looks like. Well, $100 would make a stack just under a half an inch. $1,000 would be 4.3 inches tall $10,000 would stand 4.3 feet tall, $100,000 would be 10 of those stacks, and 1 million would fill 2 pounds. 176 million would look like this. Picking the right dollar bill hidden in all of these would be like winning the Mega Million. So yes, the odds of winning the jackpot are statistically very close to zero, but it isn't actually zero. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! Statistically, it makes no difference if you use Quick Pick or pick your own numbers. In fact, if you were to pick the numbers 1 through 5 for the white balls and the number 6 for the mega ball, you would have the same odds as any other number combination. But if luck is on your side and you do win a jackpot, you would have to pay close to 39.6% in federal taxes. Add state and local taxes and you might end up with only half of your winnings you're done paying taxes. For example, if you opt for the lump sum prize in a $10 million lottery, the prize would be about $5 million. After federal and state taxes, you'd be left with about $2.5 million. There are plenty of lavish and extravagant things that you could afford if you won a big prize. But what if you just took the money and put it into a savings account? Let's say you win a prize that nets you, after taxes, $10 million. You could put that into an account that compounds monthly at a modest rate of 4% and see returns that can allow you to just live off the interest without ever touching the principal. Now chances are you won't hit a jackpot for millions of dollars, but if you do, winning may not be all it's cracked up to be. Well, of course, we all like to think that if we won a major lottery, it would be the best day of our lives. Mm -hmm. But, you know, some people find that it's not the best day of their lives. Sometimes they find that they lose their friends, they lose their anonymity, they have people coming out of the woodwork looking for them to do favors for them or give them money or to take care of their problems. And it can be a little bit more of a burden than I think a lot of people expect. So if you're going to play the lottery and you know who you are, that 1 in 176 million chance isn't that much different than 100 chances in 176 million. So maybe just play a dollar. And if you happen to win, be ready for major changes, good and bad, that it could mean for your life. I'll keep playing my dollar occasionally. And if you happen to win, I'll be here in case you may want to share in your newfound wealth. I'm Mike Morrison, Fox 31 News.